Hi, how you guys doing? This is William Myers from Manus Outdoors. Today, we're going to do another ingenious product from Traer Wilderness, the multi-flame tool. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so the two products that we're looking at here today from Traer Wilderness, uh, the two different multi-flame tools that they have. And they have the mini, and then they have the regular. And obviously, the big difference is one is smaller than the other. But they pretty much have the same uses uh, the the regular has one other use that is built into it that I'm going to be getting into here real soon that makes it a little bit more specialized but the mini is still a great multi uh, multi flame tool it's a fire piston it's what both these are these are both fire pistons and if you've seen my other uh, video on my website on my YouTube channel sorry uh, from a fire piston you can tell I'm not really the hugest fan about fire pistons these are a little bit different. Uh, the reason why is because the combustion chamber in here is a little bit bigger, which allows for more heat to be produced. So it's a little bit easier to get your coal. And so what we got going on here with the mini is it comes with a tin for charring and things. There's some business cards for uh, Trailer Wilderness in here. Go ahead and get a close up on that on camera here. So you guys can get a shot of their business business card. And their information is on here. So you know the uh, the tin. I don't know if you guys can see in there, but it carries two gaskets. And that's for your fire piston. And we're going to get into the fire piston itself, but I'm pretty impressed with this because, like I said. The combustion chamber is a lot, lot longer than most of the uh, fire pistons that you're going to get on the market these days. So I've had a lot greater success with these. You know, I don't sit here and, and, and pop them 15, 20 times. You know, yeah, about not all, every time on the first time, but most of the time on the first pop, it'll go. Uh, that being said, it's still the same deal with fire pistons. You know, it's not the biggest coal that you're going to get. Uh, so you're going to have to have more more like maybe char cloth or something like that on standby put that ember that you get into that char cloth and then blow your tinder bundle to flame or unless you have just absolute dust dry tinder that's going to go off of a little coal like that but like i said i re i'm really impressed with this uh with this multi tool or uh, multi flame mini tool here because usually on the first within three tries i'm going to get a coal nine times out of ten so like i said really really impressed with that but what really really impresses me is the thought that went in to making these tools and what i mean by that is this is the bottom of the fire piston here we kind of get into dig in here this is a screwdriver bit this is a bit it goes right into the bottom of here so now i can work on my firearms anything that needs a flat head or a phillips head or anything like that and get in there get more leverage so that's the mini right here let's get into the really cool one which is the regular one here so this one's really really big uh, obviously you can see it fits it fits pretty much just perfect in my haversack from top to bottom so it, it really is uh really suits my needs there the really cool thing about this is the huge combustion chamber here. I mean, that is a lot of heat that's going to be produced. Usually the first try, I'm going to get a coal with this piston. I've been using this for uh, quite a while now, and I'm, I'm really, really impressed with this. Uh, if you guys uh, go on their site, this is one of their big, big items that they sell. I, I suggest that you guys pick one of these up because, like I said, I'm, I'm really, really impressed with this. And the ideal still holds true with a fire piston is that, you know, you're making a coal with air. You know, the only resource that I'm using at this point is maybe some char cloth from my pack, maybe some chaga or something like that. Then I could reproduce with the tin. Let me put this away real quick here, show you guys. With the tin that they supply here. And the, with these tins, you don't have to poke a hole through them. To let the gases escape they'll escape out the back it's almost like an Altoids tin it's just built maybe a little bit better but the gases will still escape from the back so it's not necessary to poke a hole in these things guys 
But, you know, they supply that tin, that char tin. A mini fire kit could be put in there. Pretty much all that I need for a fire kit is a ferro rod, a, some kind of a, a, a glass, a magnifying glass. And, uh, you know, I, I add Surefire to my kit on days that where I'm just not wanting to mess around. I need a fire like now. And I'll put a lighter in there as well. Other than that, some charred material, and I'm ready to go. All right, guys, so this tool is built just like the mini tool. And the fact that it has the capability of becoming a, a screwdriver. You know, and just, just being a little bit longer, it can get you some leverage. You know, if I need to take apart my firearm for maintenance or anything like that, it just helps me out immensely. You know, sometimes a multi-tool isn't going to reach uh, some screws that I need to, uh, to reach. The other really ingenious part to this is this. And this is just held right here in this little pouch right here. Go ahead and pull that out. And the really cool thing about this is that it allows me to use these drill bits to drill holes. And what that does is it just fits right into here and then <clears throat> the bottom of the fire piston itself goes into there. And now it's just like a mini auger, you know. Alright, so we're going to go and get just a little scrap piece of wood and we're going to drill a hole in it just to kind of demo this see what it does. Alright guys, so like I said, the really ingenious thing about this multi-flame tool, the bigger one that is, is that I can use it to drill holes in wood. And you know, if I'm using this, let me get this started here real quick. You know, I can use this to uh, tap trees, like maples and birches and things like that for water source. You know, this is just a really, really ingenious design from them. All right, so I can kind of just make this into a T-handle just like this and just start cranking over. There it goes, it's starting. You know, this hole, this might be a little on the big side for tapping trees, but it will work. I have used it for that. It's just, all you have to do is when you're done with your tap, is put a stick in there and break it and if, if you carry some uh, pine sap pine resin it's good to kind of basically put like kind of a band-aid on the tree at that point all right I'm gonna drag this over a little bit and then just start cranking over you can see just tons and tons of applications that this could be good for in the woods that's definitely more than deep enough just kind of demonstrating how this works at this point you know and for all these uses and then the bottom line is it's a fire piston that's just amazing to me Alright guys, so if you are going to use something like this for a tree tap, you know, after you're done, you can just stick and, and bevel it off. Just kind of stick it in there, use some pressure. You know, hey, think about it. I'll, you know, I could have hanged things from there. You know, there's all kinds of applications. And then just kind of give it a break inside there, just like that. You can take your axe, and pound it in further, and there you go. Alright guys, so let's actually get down to the operation of the fire piston itself. We're going to use two things today. We're going to use a nice piece of chaga and we have some char cloth. At least we had. Oh, there it is. It fell all down. So we got some char cloth and we have a piece of chaga. So first off, let's just go ahead and start with the char cloth. Get a nice little piece out here. All right, so I got a little piece of chalk cloth. I'm gonna sit in there, and I'm gonna bring this up to the camera as well. Back that up pretty good, the chalk cloth. Put whatever I don't need back.
Hopefully you guys can see that real good. It's nice and packed with char cloth. All right, the second thing I want to do is I'm going to take some kind of a lubricant. I'm going to actually use Burley Bond for this. I just want to take a very, very small, little tiny bit. Just a little bit. And I don't need to smear this all over the fire piston. I just want to get it on the gasket. It's right there. Just enough to lubricate that gasket. That's enough. It's funny. I got my Leatherman Micro here. I actually really like this tool. It's for the scissors and other things like that. I'm going to use the tweezers here. When I actually do get a coal, I'm going to use that to kind of pick it out. That way I just don't have to use my knife for that. Alright guys, let's see what we get. Like I said, first pop. Let's see if we can get this in film here. Nice glowing ember right there. Very first pop. Take this out. Still going. That's why this impressed me so much. You know, with other fire pistons, you sit here and smack it for days. It can get kind of aggravating. Take a little piece of this chaga here, see what it does. This might not go on the very first pop. <laughs> chaga can be a tad on the cantankerous side as far as fire pistons go. Well, let's see what we get. chaga in there. Now this is one of my preferred methods when dealing with the fire piston because this chaga is going to burn a little bit longer. This The little ember that you do get is going to burn a little bit longer than say charcoal off. Alright, let's see what happens here. Nope, not on the first one. Oop, I had one, but it went out. And there we go. So it took a couple times. Hopefully you guys can see that on camera there. Going rather nicely. All right, so now you guys see how good this can be used when using it as a fire piston alone, not to mention all the other things it does. It does have one more special little thing. If I take the back of this knob off real quick, behind there, there's threads. And what can be threaded in there are uh, you know, cleaning swabs, brushes, things like that for firearms. So this can be used to clean like pistols and things like that. I don't have one of those with me, unfortunately, or I would show you. 
but that just makes this this is rounds the package out you know it's unbelievable all the things that can be done with this multi-plane tool all right guys so to me that's a strong enough case to call this the best fire piston that i've ever used and i don't use that kind of term lightly this really really impresses me not only the multi things that it can do which is great but the fire piston itself just is one of the best fire pistons that i've ever used ever and honestly i really am not a huge fan of the fire piston you know <clears throat> the case you know it, it has multiple loops in it to where you could actually wear it i probably you know just my own personal opinion i wouldn't actually wear this i would store it as a kit you know the little nylon sheet that comes with it is not bad at all like i said it comes with an out toys tin kind of a, a tin any other tin will fit in there you can keep a, a small fire kit in there plus use it as a char tin you know great great tool uh, like i said definitely goes to be one of the best fire pistons that i've ever used ever Alright guys, so if any of you are on my Facebook or on Manus Outdoors Facebook page, you'll know that a while back I posted that I was going to be doing this video and that a lucky viewer is actually going to be walking away with one of these. And what I mean by that is, <clears throat> as a sign of my appreciation, I'm going to give away either one of these multi-flame tools. And that is a choice that's going to be up to you. If the Mini is going to fit your kit better, you know the only thing that you're going to be lacking is the capability of using it as a drill. Uh, other than that, it's just like the uh, the regular one, just a little bit smaller. All right, guys. So the folks at Trail Wilderness were nice enough to sponsor this giveaway. So I definitely would appreciate it if you stop by their Facebook page, give them a like, let them know how much you appreciate well, all the things that they do. You know, they do a lot of stuff for the bushcraft and survival community and prepping and uh, homesteading communities as well. Stop by their website, www.trailwilderness.com. There's all kinds of information out there, their blog, stuff like that. Tammy and uh, them are, they are great, great people. I've never dealt with such nice people ever before. You're not gonna, you're not gonna come across nicer people than the trailers. All right, so down to the giveaway itself. If you guys stop by www.facebook.com, manasout slash manasoutdoors, the link's gonna be down in the description below. There'll be a post about this giveaway. And all you gotta do is in the comment section, type in, I'm in. Then you'll be registered for the giveaway, and then we're going to give a, a random number through a generator on the computer, and we're going to give it away. And my appreciation for all the support that I've been given from you guys, all the subscriptions, all the likes, all the comments, all the comments on my Facebook, all the other support that I've been given, just to show you guys how much I appreciate it. All right, guys, this has been William Myers from Manus Outdoors. Hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, appreciate it if you click subscribe. Liking my video helps me and my video and my channel out a lot. I appreciate all reviews, comments, and support. Hopefully, we'll see you out in the woods. All right, guys, so the tool, tool, the tool, tools, the tool, 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 by the seashells, by the seashore. I saw salt down in Arkansas, and Arkansas ain't saw every salt. <laughs> <laughs> all right let's let's get real here guys all right so now you guys see how this uh, uh, a shot a sign of appreciation Ugh. okay three two one facebook page and all man outdoors deer. facebook page deer just ran by. a deer just walked by mm, two ran <laughs> okay is the video is over it is over in a minute all right, guys, well, this has been William Myers, Manus Outdoors. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope... <laughs> <laughs>